Hello, Chip here from 5th Edition Visions, and I'm here to talk about a card that has been haunting my asleep. It's giving me nightmares, and it's making me upset, simply because in my second pre-release for Aether Revolt, which I went to at 1 o'clock on Saturday, yesterday, it's Sunday now, um, this card uh, did me no favors. Um, it's obviously going to be on my timeout list, uh, but I thought I'd start talking about it now to get it off my chest and to uh, let you all know how great this card is if you love it or how horrible this card is if it's not um, on your side of the of the battlefield. So the card is Herald of Anguish, two black, five generic, and it has Improvise. It also has two other abilities which can be very back-breaking. I'll talk about those in a minute. First off, I want to say when I first saw this card, I was playing against my friend. He was running white and black. I won the first match. I was feeling pretty confident but then he gets this guy out on the second turn. I was very upset when I saw it, simply because I wasn't expecting it to come out because he was down on mana, um, but he did have some Servios. Now I knew Improvise existed, but I, you know I hadn't seen this card before, and so I wasn't really expecting it. And what made me so upset was that I was had some flyers and I had some guys on the ground and I was pounding in for the win, and he had a little 1-1 death touch, which, I didn't like because I figured if I could get rid of this death touch, I'd be able to, you know, win a turn a turn sooner. So I had uh, uh, some removal. I had malfunction, and I spent my malfunction on the death touch guy because I didn't want him to take out one of my attackers. The next turn, here comes Herald of Anguish, which he's able to improvise out, which I wasn't expecting because I didn't realize that you know he had it in his hand and that he could use five Servios or you know his uh, artifacts he had lying around comes onto the battlefield, and now I don't have a response to it. He starts attacking, he can use it as blockers, so I'm worried. And then what happens next is that I suddenly realize that he it's on his turn, there's the discard effect. So the removal that I, I would start drawing or things that might be able to help me end up be uh, getting discarded. So I was very upset with that. And then when I finally decide to use my other creatures to block him, um, he's able to use the other ability to sacrifice his artifacts and to give some of my, give my creatures minus two, minus two, which made blocking unadvantageous because he would be able to survive the attack. So then I lost. And so then the third game runs around and we're playing and I'm doing well. I had him down to four life and I was at 20. And then guess what happens? Here comes Herald of Anguish and it mucked up the game state and I lost again. It was a close game and I was upset and I, you know, went through and I wasn't sure if I had sequenced some things differently. I was holding on to my uh, counter spell and to my negate to use, um, but I was getting my creatures out and that's what I should have done. I should have not put out so many creatures and held on to that counter spell, um, you know, waiting for him to cast that. So, but I got over it. I was okay. I was happy. I moved on to game four and I'm like, I don't have to face this Herald of Anguish anymore, but then... Of course, we play the first game, and what do I see come out, um, you know, very quickly on turn, like, four or five, because he had a whole bunch of Servio tokens. Herald of Anguish again, except this time it's the special foil pre-release version. So, that didn't help me. Uh, I lost the first game very quickly. Second game, I had my legs under me, things were going... He brought Herald of Anguish out again, which, you know, when you play Magic the Gathering, I, I play games and I'll get my bomb out like two games in a row and I feel good and I feel lucky. But you do know that when your opponent gets their bomb out early two games in a row, yes, it does start making you worse. Is this guy top decking? Is, is, he, is, is he doing something, some card manipulate? You can't think that way because you'll go crazy in Magic the Gathering. But after I had just seen this guy in the previous game twice... Now, this is the fourth game in a row where this guy is appearing. It's the foil premium version. I am just disheartened. So my one hope is to try to get rid of Herald of Anguish with a combat trick. Uh, so what I do is that I was down on... I only had three mana, so I was not doing well. I was kind of getting mana hosed, uh, mana screwed. And what I, my plan was that I did I Harpooner. So if I could just get one of my creatures to disappear, to, you know go away, then, uh, you know, I could play Dead Har Did I Harpooner, and if his Herald of Anguish was tapped, I could get rid of it. I also had a Conviction on one of my creatures, so if I could just get one more land, I could return the Conviction, and then play Dead Eye Harpooner, Harpo Harpooner, and be able to get rid of Herald of Anguish. I didn't get the land, so I let him swing in with his Herald of Anguish, hit me for five, and some other creature. I left my two flyers, my two little chump flyers untapped, and then I went, oh, and then I, next turn, it didn't make sense to attack, but I attacked, 
hoping that he would block and kill one of my flyers so I would have a permanent leave the battlefield. And then I'd have my three lands that were up to play Deadeye, a Harpooner to, boom, get rid of Herald of Anguish, which was tapped for attacking me last turn. The guy I was playing, obviously he's smart. He sees I have three mana up. There's really no incentive for me to, you know, for him to use his big creatures to block my little flyers when he has such an advantage. So obviously he just lets him go through. I understand why he did it. You know, he's, he's not an idiot, but I was hoping that he would do it so then I could play my Deadeye Harpooner and destroy his tapped Herald of Anguish. It would have been fantastic to get rid of that card at least once in these four games, um, but he didn't fight, and then he was able to kill me the... Uh, the next uh, next turn, next two turns, he was able to to, to get the uh, stuff together to do it. So I ended up losing two games uh, on my second pre-release because of this card. So it is not uh, on my happy list. It's definitely on my timeout list. But you know what? I might adopt it as my own and try to find a way to uh, use it in standard uh, simply to get over this so I can feel better about it. If I can know that Herald of Anguish is on my side, this Mythic Rare is now playing for me. Um... Maybe I won't feel so angry when I think about it. Well, not angry, but just disheartened. So anyway, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please leave comments below about Herald of Anguish. Did you play it? Did it work well for you? Or did you have a negative experience like me where this guy gets out, and once it's out there and you're trying to you know, deal with it, you're discarding cards, and he's you know, making your creatures disappear with its second ability, and it just leaves you as an unhappy camper. Let me know. Thank you so much for listening, and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.